When a myofascial structure has lost extensibility, it can be due to the contractile components within the muscle. And this is largely a neurophysiological response. So when a muscle loses extensibility and appears to be short on length testing, the contractile components can be upregulated and over-recruited and can contribute to a loss of range of motion. Now the techniques that work have been shown to be very effective on changing contractile tissue extensibility are uh, so, uh, use processes of autogenic inhibition or reciprocal inhibition. Now autogenic inhibition is a process where most people would be familiar with maybe the term contract relax where for example if the muscle is short so for example if the hamstring muscles are short we can make the hamstring muscles contract against resistance and then after that muscles after that contraction has been applied for seven to ten seconds we can relax and then passively lengthen the muscle into more range okay this process works on the golgi tendon organ the golgi tendon organ is the neurophysiological structure that is the transducer behind the contract relax or autogenic inhibition. It's based on when a muscle contracts, as it generates increasing force, the Golgi tendon organs start to discharge. The Golgi tendon organs provide a stretch, provide a, not a stretch reflex, an autogenic inhibition to protect the muscle against contracting too hard. So if a muscle contracts too hard, it starts to downregulate itself so it can't damage itself. So the contract relax technique where we make the muscle that is short and has lost extensibility contract first then as you do a, as you increase the force of that contraction we start to discharge the Golgi tendon organs the Golgi tendon organ pa passes an afferent information back into the spinal cord and then there's a reflex loop comes back to the same muscle and inhibits its overactivity so it allows it to relax afterwards so then we can apply a passive stretch and regain more range this technique is the technique of choice to use when a muscle is atrophied and has lost extensibility. So for example, post immobilization shortening. When a muscle is pain, in a chronic pain state, when the muscle is upregulated and is overactive rather than atrophied, so it's not atrophied, it may, might even be hypertrophied and short. This may not be the most appropriate technique, but it is the appropriate technique for a muscle that is atrophied and has lost extensibility and we want to regain extensibility and make that muscle do contractile work as well to recover from atrophy.